It's a, it's like a country song, and I love country. He doesn't love country, and just I think I was listening to Spotify one day, mm. and you're like, "What's this? What is this uh, song you're listening to?" And so he starts listening to it, and didn't you have one of your friends message you like, "Why are you listening to that song?" Yeah. <laughs> For a while, he was always on his uh, like his songs. I was on my songs. We didn't really have too much in common, other than like you know the poppy ones, but with this, it was just kind of like. Something I really liked, he kind of took a step into and decided he wanted to explore it a little bit, find out what it was, not be held back by thinking country's just twangs and trucks and beer. <laughs> he actually found a song he likes. It was just, it was really cute that he kind of took that first step in my world. I feel like that's the one I think about every time when I think of country songs. <laughs> I'm a lot more open to listening to country now, and I think it's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was the perfect gayway song. <laughs> <laughs> as, as gay as it could get, honestly. <laughs> I feel like most country songs, like, I'm not asked into before, but then this one just sounds kind of like, just like a Disney song, almost. <laughs> and I love Disney songs. And um, I think it's like a really good mix of, like, us. Like, from when we first started dating, and how like we all always talk about like our differences and how he really likes country and I don't but like this song happens to be kind of like a perfect middle for the two of us so I think that's like when we were like really share our music taste through that yeah yeah hey Siri play Not Your Cinderella by Peyton Ray <laughs> 